Hello and welcome back to Citizen Sleeper. We are going into something fairly climactic here. We are going to be helping Feng break into, what is this, Conway? Conway. Um, in order to get information about Harden and expose him. So it's, it's a big deal. And if I don't, if I mess this up at all, Feng is going to be in danger. And we don't want that. I don't want that. But I just got uh, took a stabilizer, so I have a good set of dice. Um, and these are low dice. I'm kind of hoping that they only want low dice for me. And I have good interface, so my odds of success here are pretty good. So let's do it. Here we go. As you slot the worm, a thread jumps up out of the facility. It unspools in front of you releasing its data like ink in water. Sleeper. Fang's voice crackles through, moving in. Nodes, then ports. A whir of interference. Slot the worms. Timer starts now. Stay safe. The thread dissipates. You are on your own now. Okay, here's our first. Um, I'll use ones where I can, since I have two ones. I have two ones and two twos. Should be able to, uh, basically do whatever I need to do. All right, F1 port located. And we're going to be throwing a worm in here. Fangs progress. Layers unlocked. We have two things here. We can throw a one or a two. I guess, um, Consec S2. Both the S layer nodes need to be extracted before the port will open. Is there time? Sure there is. Let's do the second one. And it's a good thing I had a 2. Because I didn't have a 3 or a 5. So that was, that was basically blind luck because I really should have checked both before I used anything. Uh, is kind of my bad. I could have I could have ruined everything. There's like basically no strategy involved in this game. <laughs> and I the one time I could have applied some, I didn't. Okay, so we have three concepts now. Uh I can't open that one. Three nodes to locate the final port, then Fang will be in. Not much time left. You say that, but I'm pretty sure the game intends for me to do this, like, over the course of several cycles. So we can use a 5 on that one. And we can use a 2 on this one. So let's use a 2 on this one. And we'll use a 5 on the other one. And I really, really doubt that the game would intend for us to have more than 5 dice. So I I really don't think that, you know, I, I should be worried about not getting that third gate open. We used all of our dice on this mission. Um, so let's uh, cross the rim and we'll grab a bite to eat. Feng should be fine. He'll be fine. He's fine. I'm not worried. Okay, uh, and we'll go to sleep. Maybe I wasn't supposed to slot that worm. I wonder if that's the, that's the deal, the deal, is I wasn't supposed to slot that worm until I was ready, until I thought I could do another bout. No, we look, that's that's how much time we've got. We've got 6 cycles to accomplish this. Wrong one. Oops. Okay, here we go. So we can we can use a one. We have a second one, so we'll continue on this. Perfect. Security layer X disabled. A thread from the facility cuts through the cloud like a hairline crack of light. That's it. The final layer of security broken. 
Somewhere buried in the depths of the station, Fang is in control. He is slicing into the camera control circuits and piping out the, the result. The thread flickers and unravels into an image. A scene, two figures in a room, one sat, the other pacing. The pacing figure resolves into Harden. The unmistakable superior posture, the, the shock of gray hair. The second figure's features don't seem to resolve. They are vague, in, un, uh, unformed. A problem with the data, perhaps? You look closer. Then you see it. The figure is a proxy. Perhaps you should have expected it from Conway, a corporation whose very existence is owed to automation. The proxy is a machine designed to be piloted by remote connection. Someone else, someone elsewhere in the system puppeteering it with their own body, speaking so it may. The proxy sits impass uh, impassively, or the Conway executive that is piling, piloting them does, from the distant safety of some ship or orbital colony, perhaps. We can move forward, there is no doubt, Harden is saying. The reclamation teams are almost ready, and after that I will make the declaration. Nothing has to change. The proxy leans forward, its movement stilted, uneven, as if its body was being refracted through water. But things must change, Harden. We need further assurances. I have been in informed of a breach in one of the closed networks in the low end. You have been careless. Harden waves the accusation away. We have been stretched. A breach was detected, yes, but no data of value was lost. Our board is concerned, Harden. A drop in your, our value would be unwelcomed at this time. The proxy leans back, its posture dominant. If the reclamation of AE-1 is uh, contested, then we could be drawn into a compromising legal position. Harden approaches the proxy. There will be no contest, not from Solheim. Who cannot muster a defense? Not from Havenage, who will fall into line below me. He crouches in front of the seated figure. Eye to eye. And the people of the station, refugees, gangs, spacers, all either opportunists or de degenerates? Havenage is no longer strong, no longer united. No one here believes in Erlen's vision, nor has the strength to enact it. I sat, ac uh, I cr I sat across from him at the negotiation table. He was forceful, eager. Weakened by his ideological convictions, perhaps, but a great man nonetheless. This place no longer deserves to bear his name. The eye is crippled. It cannot survive. It is a ruin filled with squatters and outlaws. They will be lucky if it still spins in a hundred cycles. Harden stands. You will move forward with the reclamation, because otherwise you will lose your advantage in the system. Without your advantage, you will lose claims on the remaining palladium. Without the palladium, your factories will go dark. He pauses. Do I need to continue? One moment comes the response form from the proxy, and its head drops to its chest. Harden steps back and paces once more, awaiting the discussion place, uh, taking place elsewhere in the system. You watch Harden as he paces, as he considers his future. What goes on within a mind like that? In the mind of a man who would burn all those around him for a path to some imagined golden end? The proxy lifts its head. We are happy to proceed. We will legally claim the station formerly known as Solheim A1 as salvage within six cycles. Havenage is to assist with the transport of the illegal residents to Conway housing and labor facilities. The proxy judders to its feet. Conway will also claim 70% of the raw output of the reclamation process after losses have been accounted for. Harden nods, I accept. The proxy reaches out to shake his hand like a marionette and then the recording loops. You watch it play, for, uh, play out a second time, gripped by a horrified fascination. There's a bluntness to the conversation, to its blatant disregard for humans as anything other than objects. Things to be moved, to be used, to be fed into structures. Man, I was really on the, on the ball with that Jeff Bezos comparison, wasn't I? Crushed and losses accounted for in the cells of tables and the margins of ledgers. You realize now that you are no different than anyone else on this station. Uh, in the eyes of the people in that room, and those like them. Each body here can be recast as a piece of property, a tool, an expense, an acceptable loss. In one moment they can be named a citizen, celebrated, protected, and in another, the very idea of citizenship can be used against them. That is what it means to live in proximity to a system like this. No longer, not while the eye spins. You gather the recording, pack it into a polygon of purest light, 
Then you drift down into the service dock like a fa falling leaf and find the relay. It only takes a second to place that polygon of data, that recording, into the relay system, Feng prepared, and then you watch as it bursts out a web of threads, heading out into the black, to every networked device on the eye. Let them see what power makes of a man. Well, that's gonna... that's gonna... shake some stuff up for sure. But how's Feng? Gather scrap. We can gather scrap if we have endure. I don't know where Feng is. I assume he made it out okay. Hopefully. Um, I've got scrap, and actually I feel like working for Rabia is a more reliable way of getting scrap. Isn't that how I've been getting scrap? Let me throw a five at this and just see what happens. I got energy. Um, I don't know how I've been getting scrap somehow. Let's, uh, let's spend some more time at the side reel. We're, we're almost done here. Yeah, I like, honestly, we could finish this in the next uh, cycle if we wanted to. I don't know if that's necessarily a good idea, but I wouldn't mind finishing it. We'll see. Let's uh, spend our last pip getting some data. I, I'm, I'm not seeing anything else to spend my pips on uh, in Greenway. I, I, I guess like I should be more careful examining it, but like it really it looks like I'm done there. Yeah, it looks like I'm done there. I don't I don't have anything else I can do there. I gotta say I do appreciate the way like they set up this game in terms of like you're scrolling along the eye and it, it really does kind of feel like a ring world it's it's really cool how they how they did that um all right let's sleep things may be different tomorrow <laughs> at the very least harden's gonna be uh not happy you miss me? Ethan smiles a ragged smile at you. No. You look at him. He is paler than usual, hunched. He is sporting a black eye and more than a few cycles of beard growth. That's no way to greet an old friend. Friend? Well, he pauses. Colleague? He smiles weakly. This is big, really big stuff about you. He seems more jittery than usual, on edge. You remember how on S and Erp, uh, how S and Erp canceled the contract on you? The contract that was going to collect? I remember. Well, I'm guessing you were pretty happy about that shit. Overjoyed? Me? I lost everything. But th let's not worry about that. He smiles sarcastically. And so what did you think? That was it? I was just glad to be done with you. Oh, the feeling was mutual. Except, Ethan leaves a dramatic pause. What if old S and Erp gave the bounty to someone else? someone who is even more of a shithead than yours truly he smiles darkly what a disaster that would be you're bluffing sure sure you could think that but then you'll wake up or not with the bullet in your head one of these cycles and if you could think which you won't be able to because of the bullet you'd be thinking oh i wish i'd listened to ethan he grins ethan fishes around in his pocket for a slip of paper i've been speaking to some friends you see some colleagues about what went down and it turns out S and Arp cancelled all their bounty contracts. A whole lot. It seems they've brought someone in-house. Some guy who did so well on their last contract that they got offered a job. He leans in. 
Apparently, he made a hit on this ship called the Winter Wonderland or something. It was smuggling sleepers out from under Essen Arp's big corporate nose. He killed the crew and blew the ship. I'm, I'm assuming that it's not Winter Wonderland, is Winter White or something? That's the ship that came in on, uh, to Dragos that he dismantled. They called him Hemwick or Maywick or something. He gives up looking for the paper. I forget. You mean Winter Light? That's the one I meant. That's it. He looks at you hard. So you do know about all this. He pats you on the shoulder. Then you'll be very happy to hear about what I'm going to offer you. Ethan runs his hands through his greasy hair. Given this new information I've brought to light, it seems that like you are in need of protection. Wait for the pitch. I, meanwhile, am in need of assistance in kind. It turns out I upset some people at the compressor the last time we were there, the owners, and they say they'll space me unless I work off the debt. Seems that, uh, seems they are that kind of businessman. He grimaces. I would pay them, but, uh, he shrugs and turns his jacket pockets inside out in a mine of poverty. A mime of poverty. He looks pit pitiful, even, um, uh, even more so for his clownish acting. Then work it off. You should be glad, the anger rising in him now, that I came here and told you this. You think anyone is looking out for you? You are a contract, a name on a list. He kicks the wall. Hey, you know, uh, uh just to be clear from my own perspective here, I would hire them. And if I was like, you know, like so far I've been very much role playing a character that doesn't display too much emotion um, and is very much practical or, you know, uh, analytical about things. And I think that they would as well uh, probably hire them because, you know, it makes sense. And also it makes sense for someone who uh, is um, a major in like interfacing and can actually pay, you know, afford to pay someone like Ethan just pay him and uh, you're good don't don't worry about it yeah why not keeps you off my back um, Ethan rubs his temples I'm sorry he hisses I'm sorry for being a shit and trying to kill you and whacking that thick skull of yours he sighs you think I want to go up against this guy but he, but us he jabs a finger between the two of you we don't have a choice so you keep me from getting killed and I'll do the same for you we can help each other. A straight 50-50 deal. He looks at you. I'm not asking for a favor. Fine. Ethan smiles. He looks like shit warmed up. Just... He pauses. Just think about Maywick. Think about the cold-eyed and Arp shit on his way here from the core systems. He smiles. That should give you the motivation you need. Ethan swaggers off down the corridor, throwing his jacket over his shoulder. Can't wait to be working with you, he shouts. A new drive. Um, I don't know. Do I have an extra point? I do have two points. So I could get self repair. So let's get let's get self repair. That's been pending for a while. And we have tons of scrap, so now uh what I'd like to know is how much scrap repairs me. With some careful engineering you can patch up your damaged body with scrap components. The result isn't pretty. What does that look like? Okay, so yeah, it improves one bar. And that's actually great. I'm actually really happy about that. Because that means that we don't have to use... Um, we don't have to... Um, what's, the, what's the term? Um... Uh, ration. We don't have to ration our stabilizer anymore. And we don't have to play this meta game of, like, I'm going to wait until I, you know, like, how many cycles? Is it, like, three or four or five cycles where I don't have my full actions? Now we can just buy scrap. And I'm going to buy scrap because this is 100% worth it. Um. Oh, except they give me ship mine fragments. God damn it. I don't want ship mine fragments. I don't like that this set, and they gave me another ship mine fragment. I don't like that this says buy some scrap and then it gives me ship mine fragments. Gave me three ship mine fragments. Good Lord. Just exactly when I'm like, yay, I get to, I get to get some scrap. And then I'm like, yep, um, you gave me nothing that I needed. Maywick. So that's how many cycles I have for Maywick. 
Oh, I didn't mean to end my cycle. Oh, God damn it. Can I? I'm going to, I'm going to actually alt uh, F4 that. Ugh, that was really silly. I pressed just like straight up the wrong button. And I did not want to end my cycle. And I, I had a full set of dice that I had unused. So I don't know where we are at this point. We'll see. Uh, I'm pretty sure it wasn't saving at the time. So we'll have to see. Listen, I'm not... This is, this is not me cheating. This is me having... This is me continuing to wish that turn-based games would just have an undo button. I know it's not a trivial thing to solve, but, uh, you know, that's where I'm at. Okay, well, um, I don't know. Is there anything over here? Is stuff at the Greenway sort of? Going green. Exploring the Greenway is unlike any other place in the eye. It's overgrown chambers defy mapping. Or we could do Haifa Commune. Does this give me scrap? I can't remember what it was I did that gave me scrap. But sure, let's do this. That gives me lots of stuff, but it doesn't give me what I need. Okay, I'm going to spend a three on this because I don't want... There we go. Oh, we got a positive outcome anyway, and it improved our energy, so can't, can't be mad. We've got... Oh, a new home. A new potential home. Communist. <laughs> That's very funny. I'm not going to hit end cycle. I'm not going to hit end cycle. But it looks like we have um, some kind of story to uh, show us a new home. You head down into the Haifa compound, following a blue painted line that is labeled laboratories. The member you were assigned to work with told you they'd asked to see you, but you still have no idea what about... The lion takes you to a blue door and through it to a glass roofed chamber where a network of stems and leaves filter the sunlight coming through the ceiling. Casting the whole chamber in a yellow, a strange yellow green. Peaceful, isn't it? Distracted by the green, you missed the woman standing at a lab bench, camouflaged by the dappled light. Welcome to my sanctuary, she smiles. Come, let's talk, she says and beckons you closer. What is this place? Here? These, uh, these were processing centers for the agriculture of the old corporate station. She offers a hand to shake. I'm Rico. I run the botany program at I uh, Haifa. What is Haifa? She looks surprised. You've been working in the compound for a while now. I'm surprised you don't know more. She lifts a tiny sample jar. Yellow spores dance inside. Haifa lives off the land of the Greenway. It's what allows us to live like we do. No one here pays or is paid. We sleep here. We feed each other. We work for each other. Rico walks away from the bench and waves for you to follow. She opens a small door and leads you down a glass corridor surrounded by vivid glass. All this, she says, gesturing at the overgrowth. It's kind of a miracle. She looks at you with bright eyes. What do you think usually happens to plants on stations like this when they are abandoned? They dry up? Exactly. They run out of water. Very rapidly, in fact. She leads you left at a crossroads, but here they endured. She smiles to herself. Actually, no, they thrived. You look at the bright tendrils wrapped around the metal frames of the corridor. They look do uh, dominant, strong, like they are taking control of this place. Rico continues. Of course, Solheim tried to create a stable biosphere here, patchworking the surface like gardens and algae tanks that feed into a network of microbial reclamation systems. But the Greenway was always envisioned as extractive, a place from which the harvest is removed and sold to those living on the station, not a closed loop. For this reason, when the collapse came, the Greenway should have gone with it. Erlen himself was so convinced of it that his first colony never even came here to try and reclaim it. The Eye instead relied on outside favors and influences, shipments from the, from the inner system, and small-scale ag agriculture systems like kelp and fungal farm stacks. And yet, here we are, among growth and decay, a biosphere flourishing. When Haifa came here, we expected to find only vacuum, dried stalks and leaves, and perhaps some fungal colonies hidden in the mulch. 
But we found a jungle. With this, Rico hits a button on the wall and leads you through a large pair of double doors into a huge impossible chamber. It is every kind of green, from the pale algae thanks to the dark vines that surround them. It is wet, too, a rarity on the eye. Condensation clouds, the light from the high glass roof, uh, and gathers on the shiny broad leaves of shrubs. This is exactly our question. Rico turns to you, visibly excited by the room you're both standing in. It doesn't make sense, but in many ways the system was stabilized. Unlike the farm stacks closer to the gap, who need input to support their meager output, this place runs itself. Perhaps Solheim managed something new here. Perhaps they tweaked the plants, or built new systems buried deep below us. Or perhaps their collapse caused some fortunate cascade, an unlikely chemical reaction within the biosphere. That's what I'd like you to help me find out. She turns to you, her forehead wet with dew. Aren't you the botanist? Abso uh, astutely noticed, but I don't need a botanist. Rico sits on a railing. These halls run deep, sleeper, and I'm getting old. She stamps her foot on the metal grating of the walkway. Whatever is causing this, it's to be found in the groves deep in the greenway. Haifa won't spare anyone for an expedition. It's too dangerous and unnecessary. They say I... Uh, they say, I can make the case, but I can't get the votes. You sleepers are hardly beings. I know that much. You can speak to the eye, uncover its secrets in ways I never can. She holds out an arm so you can help her stand. Bring me samples, spores, seeds, and blooms. I can grow them in the lab and study them. The deeper they are found, the better. I will try. Thank you, she smiles, and thank you for listening. Rico leads you back out of the huge chamber and up through the passages. She's a little slower now and stumbles on the steps. You help her where you can. It's good to have new blood in the commune, she says. Many of us have been here a long time, and few come through. She settles back at her bench in the lab, stretching her legs. You go to leave. Come back if you find something, sleeper, she calls. There are discoveries to be made, and you follow the blue line back up out of the compound, all the time thinking of that impossible magical green. Okay. So here we need spores. How do we get spores? From the deep groves of the greenway. With them, she might better understand how this biosphere functions. Um, I'm assuming... So wait, can... Yeah, so we can stay here now if we want. Uh, good to know, Emphis. Help Rico's experiments. Um, so we, I'm assuming we need the greenway gate, slot greenway cipher, the entire greenway is locked down, shrouded in a dark cloud of shifting currents. What is happening here? Uh, yeah, we can't, these encrypted keys just don't ever seem to be useful for anything. I really don't understand what they are for. Okay, what is... Oh yeah, that's the waste, so we can get scrap there if we really wanted to. Overgrown biosphere. Can we do anything? Walk the greenway. Map the pathways. Rather than simple tra uh, simply trash, thrash through the underground, you might sketch a map of this overgrown jungle to try to better navigate its hazards. Yeah, let's do that. I'll spend, uh, I'll spend my last three dice on this. I could finish the... Uh, the whatchamacallit that um colony ship but i feel like if i do that it's going to end some threads and i don't necessarily want to do that and then also there's not really um anything there's no timer on that you know i i think i could probably do it whenever ah farm stacks barter for food steal the harvest Work the stacks. That's endure. If you can do it quickly, they might not even notice it's gone. Farming collective who control the stacks don't like to sell their food piecemeal. But for the right price, they'll let it go. I'm wondering if this will let us buy some mushrooms. But I don't want to do that because if it's just food, then that's going to mean that we, um, we're wasting our money, basically. I don't think there's anything else for us to do. 
We could buy some more scrap, apparently. No, we can't. I think I want to sell these uh, ship mines. Let's go ahead and do that. We could make another core, but what is the point of that? We do get 30 cryo for these, so I guess um, getting them is a good thing because we're basically profiting 10 each. But at the same time, like what, you know, I, I when it says buy scrap and that's what I want, I want scrap. Feels a little counterintuitive. Um, I'm going to continue sleeping in the empty container for now. I think that this cycle here is possibly a, an end game as well. I, this is probably our time limit. And we probably have to basically, this is my prediction, is we, we have to pick an, uh, an ending before that cycle counts down. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here. Uh, I'm gonna repair myself a couple times. Um, no reason why not. But uh, if you're enjoying this series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.